Welcome to our channel, Chill on You Too. Today we're going to talk about cooties, I mean viruses that can affect your body and how we can prevent them from spreading. As we all know, a virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person. The respiratory droplets infect people in close contact through coughs, sneezes, or loud conversationalists not wearing protective equipment. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. You can save yourself and reduce your chances of being infected or spreading viruses by taking some of these simple precautions. Certain viruses and bacteria are transmitted through close contact between people. Several situations increase such contacts, including the following. Living or working with other people. I'm a loner, thank goodness. Sharing items. Don't, can't touch this. Giving care to a person. I actually could do that and going out to public areas. There are a number of measures that you can take to prevent the spread of viruses and bacteria. There's nothing you can do about cooties. All right, let's get serious. Today, we'll take a look at five ways to prevent the spread of viruses. So here we go. I'm sorry. Five, wash your hands. It is one of the best ways to avoid any virus because over the course of the day, your hands touch a lot of things that may have been contaminated by viruses or bacteria. When you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth with your hands, you increase your risk of developing an infection. The most important way to reduce the spread of infections is washing your hands. Always wash regularly with soap and water. It is particularly important to wash your hands in the following instances. When your hands are visibly dirty, before and after handling food, before eating, before taking medication, before wearing or removing your contact lenses, after coughing or sneezing, after blowing your nose, or that of your kid's nose, or a random kid's nose. Don't do that though. After using the toilet, after changing a child's diaper, especially if it's your child, after handling garbage, after touching pets, or their toys, after being in a public place. Make sure there is soap or an antiseptic product in your surroundings. Avoid wearing gloves. Wearing gloves increases the risk of contaminating surfaces and can spread germs. In all seriousness, the best way to protect yourself is to always and frequently wash your hands. Number four, avoid close contact. If you always want to save yourself from any viruses, you have to avoid social gatherings. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, even inside your home. It sounds pretty simple, but it is the most difficult thing to do. In fact, if possible, maintain six feet between the person who is sick and other household members. Put distance between yourself and other people outside of your home. Remember that some people without symptoms may be able to spread viruses. Stay at least six feet or two arms length from other people. Do not gather in groups. Stay out of crowded places and avoid mass gatherings. Keeping distance from others is especially important for people who are at higher risk of getting very sick. Avoid contact with at high risk vulnerable people. For example, avoid visiting people in hospitals, people living in extended care centers, and people with a chronic disease. Avoid direct contact when you greet someone, like shaking hands. Goodbye Western greeting norms, hello Eastern way of life. Number three, cover your mouth. You could spread viruses or any germ to others even if you don't feel sick. Everyone should wear a face mask when they have to go out in public. For example, to the grocery store or to pick up other necessities. But remember, Cloth face covering should not be placed on young children under the age of two. Anyone who has trouble breathing or is unconscious, incapacitated, or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. The cloth face cover is meant to protect other people in case you are infected. And a good thing to remember, do not use a face mask meant for healthcare workers. Continue to keep about six feet between yourself and others. And again, a face mask is not a substitute for social distancing. Number two. Cover coughs and sneezes. If you're in a private setting and do not have your mask on, remember to always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. You can also use the inside of your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash. Immediately wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not readily available, clean your hands with a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Also, clean your surroundings regularly, as well as sanitize appliances you use. For example, Clean your counters and other surfaces that you touch often with your hands. When you sneeze, your saliva contains many germs and viruses which will spread all over the house so it's better to wipe down surfaces to prevent any contamination from happening. Howie from AGT was right all along. Number 1. Monitor your health. 
If you want to prevent a virus from spreading, you have to take care of yourself first and make sure you're not the only one who's spreading it. Be alert for symptoms. Watch for fever, cough, shortness of breath, or other symptoms, especially if you're running essential errands, going into the office or workplace, and in settings where it may be difficult to keep a physical distance of six feet. Take your temperature if symptoms develop. Don't take your temperature within 30 minutes of exercising though, or after taking medications that could lower your temperature like acetaminophen. Clearly, I'm not a doctor, but I do hope you listen to this advice. By the way, vaccination is the best way to protect yourself and others. When a vaccine against an infection or disease is available, why not get it? All right, guys, that's the end of this video, five ways to prevent virus transmissions. We hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. But before you go, share the video and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, hit that bell icon to check out more awesome videos made just for you.